Here we're asked to calculate the degree of unsaturation for C4H8, then draw all of the structures possible. Um, again, what I use here is the uh, degree of unsaturation formula. The degree of unsaturation is equal to uh, 2 times the number of carbons plus 2 plus the number of nitrogens minus halogens minus hydrogens divided by 2. And um, again, what we want to do is plug in 4 in the place of carbon and plug in 8 in the place of hydrogen and 0 for the other elements that don't exist here. And you get an unsaturation of 1. So that means 1 pi bond or 1 ring. So uh, let's kind of divide the page in, in half here and let's think about um, structures that might have a pi bond. Uh, again, it can't have a ring and a pi bond. So we could have four carbons all in a line, or we could have a branched starting point where we have three carbons in a line and, and one coming off the middle carbon. And from this template here, we can generate um, a couple of different possibilities. We could have the alkene be at carbon one. We could have the alkene be at carbon two. Um, and keep in mind that you could possibly have uh, cis or trans. These are possible structures that satisfy the molecular formula here. And that's it. I can't think of any other alkenes that have four carbons in the longest chain. Here we have uh, three carbons. I could put a double bond uh, going up, going to the left, going to the right. Those are all equivalent. And so um, this would be you know, a propene or three carbons with the alkene in it, and there is no possibility for cis or trans, so that, that's the only uh, possibility. So for alkenes, I've thought of four here. Um, now let's think about uh, rings on this side of the page. Now if you have four carbons, you want to uh, draw a template and build off of that, and then think about the possibility of having uh, three carbons. Um, and the fourth carbon could be placed on any one of these positions, it's all going to be um, equivalent. So, well, I've just drawn the two possibilities here. So we have the uh, one ring, C4H8, and we have one ring, uh, C4H8. So these are the possibilities for this particular um, problem. Thanks for watching.